Windows 11 version 24H2 has been announced as this year's annual feature update following the recent release of 23H2. Scheduled for the second half of the calendar year, the release date is yet to be confirmed. The upcoming update is expected to introduce new features with a particular focus on advancements in AI technology. These improvements focus on enhancing the user experience with many new features, including enhancements to system performance, usability, and security. Let's look at the new features and see how you can get a beforehand look at 24H2 with the Windows Insiders program. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tech insights and updates. Number 1. New Installation Experience Windows 11 version 24H2 picks up the installation experience of Windows Server 2025 with the newly designed install wizard changes that we get with the latest Server Venix preview. This is a nice change as we have had the previous Windows Client Operating System installation screens for several Windows versions now. With a WinVer command we can see the version information. Number 2. Pseudo Command one of the exciting new features coming to Windows 11 24H2 is the new sudo command for Windows. If you just try to run the sudo command from the command line, you will see the message that it will need to be enabled in the developer settings. Under Settings, System, for Developers, you will see the option for Enable sudo. Flip the toggle on and confirm on the Settings page. You also have the option to configure how sudo runs applications. Number 3. New Copilot AI Features Microsoft is testing an enhanced Copilot feature, Copilot button, and Copilot UI in the latest Windows 11 Insider release aimed at improving user productivity. This feature activates when text is copied or an image is dragged onto the Copilot icon, offering actions like summarizing text or handling image content directly from the taskbar. Additionally, Microsoft is reintroducing an automatic launch of Copilot upon system startup for widescreen devices among select Windows Insiders, applicable to devices with a screen size of at least 27 inches and a resolution width of 1920 pixels, limited to the primary display and multi-monitor setups. These updates are part of Microsoft's exploratory features within the Windows Insider program aimed at integrating innovative functionalities to enhance the Windows user experience. Number 4. Enhanced Energy Saver Mode Windows 11 24H2 has a new energy saver icon that helps optimize power consumption by extending battery life for laptops, battery saver, and reducing energy costs for desktops. The energy saver icon in the Quick Settings panel allows you to easily activate the power saving mode for a greener computing experience on a desktop PC or a laptop. You might want to give a thumbs up and subscribe after this energy saving tip. So, you know what to do. Number 5. Revamped Settings App With every new release, Microsoft continues revamping the Settings app to upgrade the experience from the old control panel experience from previous generations of Windows client operating systems. The new Settings app is becoming easier to navigate and you can find most anything you want to configure or customize here. You can browse settings, adjust system preferences, and manage devices. Number 6. File Explorer Enhancements The updated File Explorer introduces a more user-friendly interface and improved functionality. Enhancements include quicker access to frequently used files, a more efficient search feature, and better integration with cloud storage services, making file management more intuitive. Number 7. Security Enhancements Windows 11 24H2 strengthens system security with features like Windows Protected Print Mode and Elevated Process for commands under Bluetooth devices. Developers can use the Cryptography API and Next Generation Framework to help secure Windows keys with virtualization-based security. Number 8. New Registry Search Option There is a new option in the Registry Editor that allows search and subtree. Take a look at the Find box within the Registry Editor. Number 9. Quick Settings and System Tray Updates The System Tray and Quick Settings panel have been redesigned for quicker access to system controls and notifications. This update allows users to easily adjust settings such as volume, connectivity, and display brightness without disrupting their workflow. Number 10. Taskbar Thumbnails and Start Menu Improvements the taskbar and start menu in Windows 11 24H2 receives significant improvements for a more personalized and efficient interface. 
Enhanced taskbar thumbnails offer previews of open applications, while the Start menu improvements allow for better organization of apps and files, facilitating quicker access to what matters most. Number 11. Improved Wi-Fi Management The camera app now enables quick Wi-Fi network connections by scanning a QR code containing network details. This feature was introduced in the Build 25977 for the Canary Channel. It facilitates the addition of new Wi-Fi profiles directly from the Wi-Fi properties. It supports both standard Wi-Fi networks and mobile hotspots, and users can even generate their own Wi-Fi QR codes to share network access with others. Number 12. New Hardware Requirements With all the advancements and additions of AI in the new platform, there have been rumors floating around that Microsoft is going to up the ante of system requirements for Windows 11 24H2. With older versions of Windows 11, users were able to bypass the hardware requirements using registry keys and other means and it would still work. However, with the new 24H2 release, it seems that Microsoft plans on hard setting the requirement in the OS. If the CPU does not support POP CNT, there have been speculations that Windows 11 version 24H2 will not boot. This instruction set is included in CPUs that evidently support SSE 4.2 or SSE 4A. Intel and AMD have old processors without this instruction set, circa 2008 for Intel and 2011 for AMD. Many home labs, computers, laptops, and even virtual desktops out there will undoubtedly not be able to run 24H2 if this requirement is enforced due to the underlying hardware they are running on. How can you download and install Windows 11 24H2? There are really a couple of ways you can download and install Windows 11 24H2. These include signing up for the Windows Insiders updates in your Windows 11 installation and getting it through Windows Update. You will need to understand the Windows 11 releases in these channels may have issues that you wouldn't experience in the stable release as this is the trade-off between new features, gaming improvements, performance improvements, and stability. You can choose between the options Canary Channel, Dev Channel, Beta Channel, and Release Preview Channel. It uses your current Windows 11 key. You can also download Windows 11 24H2 as an ISO, at your own risk, by visiting the UUP Dump site. Check the link in the video description about it. Once you go to the UUP Dump site, you will download a zip package that has a builder utility which will go out and build the 24H2 version for you using Microsoft packages. It is always better to use Windows Update to get the 24H2 version. Microsoft has made improvements across the entire OS with Windows 11 24H2. There are many new features in this upcoming build later this year. It is in perfect time for Microsoft's plan to end of life Windows 10 at some point next year. Microsoft is applying the polish to Windows 11 before the release of Windows 12 which is still yet to be determined. We didn't even talk about the recent and continued upgrades to Microsoft Teams integration, Android apps, multitasking, direct storage, dark mode improvements, touch gestures, widgets, snap layouts, and many other updates around the Microsoft Store and its integration that have happened with previous releases and continue to be enhanced. As always, Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.